Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. So this is a temp spray paint art video in the beginners tutorial series and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to make water using a piece of card. I'll also be showing you how to make waterfalls by using small pieces of card. I forgot to say at the end of the last video you will need something to make texture with for when we do the rocks. I'll be using the same glossy card which is A3 in size and the same spray paint as the previous tutorials in the series which is Montana White. If you are new to this series you can find the previous tutorials here in the cards or in the description box below. So I hope you all enjoy watching and find this tutorial helpful and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this form of art. Also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, and like what you see, then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future spray paint art videos. It'd be much appreciated. Right then, the first thing we're going to be doing is a background. All I'll be doing for this is spraying it black and adding a few stars. So before we start, it's best if you are using gloss card to add something under the paper, like tape or blue tack to stop the sheet moving when making the water. So with the black we'll just spray about there up to this line here. Around about there. Now we'll add the stars into a painting, so using the white and spray it on your fingers here. So spray a bit on your fingers and then flick a bit away from the sheet first so you get some of the paint off your fingers and then flick the rest onto the sheet. Do that again. So flick it off away from the sheet and then flick some onto your sheet. You can do this as many times as you want depending on how many stars you want in your painting. Now with the sky done we'll add some rocks. I'm going to be using the same technique and process as I used in episode 6 when making the mountains. So we'll grab the black first, then with the white we'll go over the black, try and leave a bit of white above the black. Then get the material you are using to make the texture and place it over a pile you have just painted. I'm going to be using a plastic bag that I've cut up to make the texture on the rocks. So we'll get the black first. I'm going to put the rocks here around this area. So black first. So just do some rock shapes. Now with the white we'll go over that, around where you put the black. Now with a plastic bag we'll make the texture for the rocks. So just place it on where your rocks are going to go. We'll start here and then you just feed it round leaving a bit of white above it. So it looks like it's a bit of mist. Then just give it a rub to get some of your texture in. And we'll peel it off. I'll just do a bit here. Just go over this part here a bit. Oh, there's a bit too much white. I think I'll just take a bit more off here, just bring it up a bit more like this. 
I might just put a bit of an ump here. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this little bit out here. Yeah. Put a bit of an ump there. I'm just blending it back, back in there like that. I quite like how that's looking, so I'm going to leave that like that. So when you're doing the rocks like that, you can always go back and just touch places up like you just saw me do. Now with the first set of rocks in place, we'll move on to adding the water using the piece of card. So you want a piece of card like this. So for this we'll get the black first and cover the rest of the sheet black leaving about 4 inches clear at the bottom. Then cover all the black with white. Now with the piece of card we're going to make the water. For this you want to move side to side as you're moving down the sheet with the card. So I'll just show you that now. So with the black we're going to spray a bit along here on the bottom of the rocks as well as we move down the sheet. So. That's the black, now the white, if you put too much white down you can just put another bit of black on it, so I'm just going to do it like that. With a piece of card, we're going to make the water. So you want to hold it about there, and we're going to go side to side and move down as we do it. So we'll start about here, and we're going to go go about there. And we're going to go side to side and move down as we do it. And then in places where you've missed, you can go over it again. Just move these over here. And see, so you got a bit of black, so you can always go. Just keep having a look at it, see if you need to do any more anywhere. Just do a bit more here at the top. So just remember it uh, to do the water, it move across as you're moving down. So if you see any parts that you're not happy with or anything like that, you can always go back and do it a bit more. So you've got like a white gap here, you could just get your card and just move it a bit. So I like how that water looks, so I'm going to leave that. So with the water done now, we'll just add another set of rocks at the bottom using the same process that we've just used to make the first set. So I'm going to add some rocks here at the bottom. So with the black, I'm going to go over a bit of the water here as well. So with the black, just 
spray all that in now with the black. And now go over it with the white. plastic bag or whatever material you're using to make the texture with we'll add some more texture on the bottom to these rocks so follow the line just remember leave a bit of white above it so just follow the line here I'm going to have some rocks coming down like this angle and then I'm going to have a bit of flat rock across there and I'm going to build it back up so it goes this way again so just give it a bit of a rub here. And then pull it back off. We'll do this side. So follow the line up. Where you want your rocks. Give it a rub. Pull it off. And now if you want you can just go back and touch up in places. I'm just going to do this bottom piece here. So with your bag or whatever you're using for your texture. Just there. Just a case of locking out until you're happy with it. And once you're happy with it, stop. Gonna do a bit here. So I quite like that, so I'm gonna leave them like it is. So we'll just get the black and we're just gonna spray a bit here at the bottom. Fade the rocks out a bit. second row of rocks in and the water done we'll move on to putting the waterfalls in so the first thing you need to do is get some small pieces of card something like these so I'll just grab a few to show you you need something like these just some small pieces this is the same card that are used to do the water with these are going to be used to make the waterfalls then get the white spray paint and spray some on a spare piece of card or magazine paper or something like that so you can dip the small card into it. So with that I'll just show you the technique I use to make waterfalls. So we'll just get the white and spray a bit onto this card here. And then all we're going to do is put the card in and dab it in so we have some paint on it there like that. So I'll put that there. And to make waterfalls, so you have a bit on there, and then to make waterfalls, just get it on your sheet, and all you do is move it across and then down. So if you want to add a bit more into it, so you go across and then down. So I'll add one here, so it's across and down, across and down. You can add more paint to it in a minute. Just make sure you don't have too much paint on the card. If you do, just dab it a bit on there to take a bit off. I'll put another one here, so it's across and down. Across and down. I'll just put a bit more on this one. And here, across 
and down. So there the waterfall's done in the background. I'm just going to add some into the front here. So again, some paint on your cardboard. And for this one, I'm just going to go straight down. So start here. I'm just going to pull it down. So it's just there and pull it down. Put one more bit there. And you can just keep going over it if you want. Just build up a bit of it so it looks like water. As you can see, I had a bit too much on there, so it's left it a bit whiter there. Bit here on the edge. Just going to bring a bit more in there. Just take your time when doing this, just step away, have a look at the painting and if you need to add some more, just add some more. Right, that's the first part of the waterfalls done and now we'll add some mist to the bottom of each one. For this part we're going to use a piece of card. This can be the same card as you use to make the water. So with the card that I just made the water with, all I'm going to do is rip a bit off so you end up like something like that. And then all I'm going to do is spray the white onto here to make some mist. So grab the white. And with the sheet, put it there. And we're just going to spray the white here in the middle. So the overspray makes a mist. So and then to the next one. Right, before I carry on, I'll just show you this. Can you see there on the sheet, there's a build up of paint there and if I carry on doing the waterfalls, the mist on the waterfalls and keep spraying the white, it's going to build up even more so eventually it'll drip off the end here and leave big white spots on your painting. So just keep an eye on that and if it gets too much, just get a cloth or something and just wipe it clean. So I'm just going to wipe that clean. So as you can see I've just wiped the paint off so there's no more build up of paint and I'll carry on putting the mist in. So with the white, get your card. So now we'll add the mist to the front waterfall. So Spray onto a sheet. So you get a bit of a mist. And you can also just add a bit of white at the bottom. It looks like the water's hitting and then misting back up. I'm just going to add a bit of black here at the bottom. So 
Sorry about that, my battery on my camera went flat. So now that's a mist added to the front waterfall. And if you want, you could always go back and add a few rocks here if you wanted either side. So you haven't got a black area here. So I think I'm just going to add a few here. With the black, I'm just going to spray a bit of black here. And on the other side. Now with the white, just add a bit of white. Just gonna darken the bottom piece up because it'll be darker down here at the bottom. Now with the plastic bag again, or whatever you're using to make your texture, just gonna get it. Follow the line. Now we'll go on to the other side and do that. Let's just make sure I've got a clean piece. to go give it a rub down and then we'll peel it off I like how them rocks have turned out it looks as though the waterfall sitting slightly back now so with the black, I'm just going to blacken this up at the bottom here of the rocks. So just a light spray. And then this side. Now with the rocks and waterfalls done, I'm just going to give the painting a spray of clear coat. So it's the same clear coat that I've used in the last few tutorials. I'm just going to go side to side and move up the painting. So. That's a clear coat on now, and as you can see, that this waterfall here looks as though there's a bit more of a splash here at the bottom, more mist. So what you could do, because the paint's wet again, you could always get it, and you could just blend it back into the water, like that. You could just go over it again if you wanted. Same as the others, you could do that if you wanted. Because the paint's wet, because the clear coat wets the paint back up. With that done, there's just one last thing to do now, and that is to sign your painting, and it's finished. So grab your pally knife, or whatever you're using to sign your painting with, and sign it. I'm going to sign it here, in this corner. So, so I'm just going to move the painting onto a white piece of card so you can see it better without all the overspray around it.
So I hope you enjoyed learning and found this spray paint art tutorial helpful. And if so, give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this form of art. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel and like what you saw, then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos in the series. It'd be much appreciated. Also, coming up in the next tutorial video in the series, I'll be showing you how to add highlights to rocks using a pally knife and also how to layer rocks over rocks using a mist technique. So you'll need for this tutorial something to spray on like gloss card or canvas or whatever you're using to spray on. You're going to need black and white spray paint and also three or four colours. I'm going to be using purple and some shades of blue but you can use whichever colours you want just make sure they are all the same make because some makes of spray paint may react with each other. You're going to need a pally knife to do the highlight on your rocks. Something to sign your work with like a pally knife or whatever you're using to sign your painting. You're going to need a mask and some gloves. A lid stencil. You're going to need some clear coat. This is used to wet the paint back up. And something to make texture with, like magazine paper, plastic sheet, or a carrier grocery bag. Just make sure you have a few of your chosen material that you're going to use for texture, as we're going to use a few of these for this next one. And if you have any questions or want to know something, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to help. So once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.